Hi everyone, in today's lesson we will discuss an another topic from object oriented design or development subject and the topic is Jacobson's methodology. So before coming to this topic, I just want to tell you that if you guys have not seen my last lesson where I have discussed everything about uh, Rumboff object modeling technique which is also one of the methodology of object oriented system development. If you guys have not seen that lesson, I would recommend you guys to watch that lesson as well. Okay, and if you guys have not subscribed this channel, then click on subscribe button, watch this lesson completely and if you like this lesson, then don't forget to click on the like button. Okay, so now let us start our discussion with this topic of Jacobson's methodology. Okay, so now let us first start its discussion. It follows two approaches. Okay, so this Jacobson's methodology follows two approaches of system analyzing and designing and those approaches are object oriented business engineering and object oriented software engineering okay so we'll deal with these two approaches once we complete this explanation okay uh, now the next point is this methodology focuses on reuse of analysis and design work yes now the jacobson methodology focuses mainly on reusing the prior analysis and design work of other projects okay so instead of doing the same kind of functionalities again and again on other projects what Jacobson is suggesting is take the analysis and design work of other projects and use that analysis and design stuff or work on your current projects okay and uh, now the next one is uh, it also focuses on use case concept for system designing uh, okay. what Jacobson is suggesting is use case can be considered as the best approach in analyzing and designing the system okay so we have done an another lesson where we have discussed everything about use case driven approach of system development okay so if you guys have not seen that lesson then watch that lesson as well okay. uh, now let us uh, see what is the use case okay just a little bit of explanation on this use case okay since Jacobson is mainly focusing on this concept of use cases okay Jacobson is saying that if you follow the use case driven approach for designing the system then there are high chances that you can make a better system okay use cases are scenarios for understanding the requirements system requirements okay so we can use this concept of use case to further understand the requirements of the system the first stage of the system development is to gather the requirements and at that stage itself we have to properly gather the requirements and we have to make a proper analysis on those requirements we need to make an analysis how the system will going to interact with the user and how user will be going to interact with the system so we have to take the requirements to make analysis on those issues so these use case driven approach or use cases will help the designers a lot in understanding all these requirements of system and now the next is easy to read and understand okay so with this concept of use cases we can easily understand the system Okay. since that use case will be a diagrammatic representation of the system and when we saw that diagram where different actors will be displayed where different features of the system will be displayed and there will be a proper representation of interaction between the user and the system with that use case diagram we can easily understand the complete system okay uh, now the next one is used for understanding requirements between users and system yes that's what i told you that use cases provide a way to properly understand the requirements or avoid the confusion in terms of requirements between the system and the user uh, now the last point is it captures the goal of the user and responsibility of system to its user this use case diagrams will help the designers to find out the goal of the user what user actually wants to achieve from the system that can be easily understandable with the help of these use cases okay and these use cases also captures the responsibility of the system towards its user responsibility of the system towards its user in the sense these use cases also show you what features the system will going to have and what features the system will going to provide to the user okay so all these things we can easily understand majorly we can easily understand the requirements of the system and we can clearly see the interaction between the user and the system with the help of these use cases that's why Jacobson's methodology is saying that use cases are the best way of analyzing and designing the system okay so now here at the bottom you can see i have drawn a use case okay so this is how a use case 
can be looked like okay so this is a use case a simple use case for a library system where you can see these are the actors okay so this is a normal user okay and suppose this is the supplier okay supplier and here we have various functions of this library system so user may perform a task of checking books user can perform a task of book allocation allowing you various students and teachers various types of books okay and then a user can add other users okay suppose this is an admin okay this user type is admin admin can add students admin can add lecturers or staff and then uh, here we have a supplier then supplier will supply the books and also admin will making a regular contact with the supplier so if the admin wants some books then the user or the admin can make communication with the supplier with the help of this system okay so now this is the use case and in this use case we have tried to demonstrate the various features or interaction between the user and the system now this use case diagram will help the designers to understand the requirements as well as understanding the interaction between the user and the system now let us discuss two of the approaches suggested by jacobson methodology and those two approaches are object oriented system engineering and object oriented business engineering okay so now let us first discuss object oriented system engineering so the development process is also called as use case driven development process okay so this object oriented system engineering is also one of the development process and this development process is mainly focuses on the use of use case driven approach throughout the system analysis designing and implementation now the next point is it aims to develop large and real time systems yes with this development approach or development process we can develop large scale software application and this development process is also been used in large and real time systems okay and those real time systems are like weather monitoring systems and then research centers and then aircrafts monitoring stations and then satellite stations rocket launch systems so these are real time systems where there is less margin of errors okay where continuously and within a fraction of seconds they need to monitor the data they cannot make mistakes in those uh, kind of projects or real time systems so for developing such kind of systems they can use this development process which is object oriented system engineering okay next it focuses mainly on use cases for various phases of development yes here in this development process they will be mainly focusing on use cases concept throughout the system development process uh, started from analysis and then designing validation and testing as well okay so as you can see here as i have told you that this development process which is object oriented system engineering will be mainly focusing on the use case driven approach where the system will be analyzed and designed using use case approach okay and they will be using this use case approach in the phases of analysis design validation as well as in the testing okay so now this is everything about one of the approach suggested by jacobson and that is object oriented system engineering okay now we'll see the next one which is object oriented business engineering okay and now the first point is it also follows use cases for modeling and providing traceability throughout the software engineering process okay so this object oriented business engineering is also one of the development process and it also focuses and follows the use case driven of software engineering or use case driven of system development where they will use the use cases concept for modeling the system to make a model or to make a prototype of the system and to trace the system throughout the system development process for errors okay if anything goes wrong they can easily trace that entire system easily with the help of this use case driven approach okay uh, now the next one is it involves various phases yes since this object oriented business engineering is also a development process and this development process also contains or involves set of phases okay and those phases are analysis phase 
and then design and implementation phase and then last one is testing phase okay so these are two of the approaches suggested by jacobson okay which will be used during the system development process so this is everything about jacobson's methodology i hope you guys have understood and in the next class we will discuss the third methodology of object oriented system development and that third methodology is grady butch methodology